Hello everyone, welcome to our Krav Maga class. I'm Oren Malul, I'm a Krav Maga and fitness expert, and today we're going to teach you guys some effective and practical self-defense moves. Okay guys, today's class, defense against chokes. Guys, today we're going to be handling not just one choke. We want to learn, as we want to always try to understand in Krav Maga, what are the principles? What, are, what is the map of getting out of a choke? So, Ida, what did you learn last class? You learned one technique that someone was holding your arm, and what did you do? You went up, right. What is the principle behind it? You learned how to do it, but we didn't explain the principle. The principle was that you were pulling your arm against two of my... Thumbs. Thumbs, right? I was holding your arm very strong, but you went and grabbed your own arm, your own fist, and you went up against two of my thumbs. That means that you went with all of your body weight against... Your thumbs. Two thumbs. <laughs> Now we have a nail. Who's gonna be choking me for the, from the front? That's you. Okay, now I'm gonna show it one time. Quick, and then we'll break it down. A nail, choke. Here, I'm bringing my hands and going towards his... Thumbs. Again, thumbs. From here, I'm going explosive. Boom! Towards the outside. Give a knee, a kick and continue with more counter attacks, right? But what was the first principle? Again, going on the thumbs. Why on the thumbs? The thumbs is any base of any grip, of any hold. When you hold, the thumb is the base. When you choke, the thumb is the base. A choke without a thumb is not a choke, okay? There is no, try to choke me without a thumb, without your thumbs. It's not a choke. <laughs> it's not a choke anymore. The base of the choke is the thumbs. So what I do, I bring my hands towards the thumbs and now I go explosive. <sighs> so I can breathe. Boom. So again, I use all of my body strengths. Explosiveness against two thumbs. Okay, Ida, let's give it a shot. Avnev, Ida, come here. Avnev, please try and choke Ida. First, put your hands slowly, and now you bring the hands from the outside on those thumbs, and now you go explosive towards the outside. Excellent. Try not to go too far away, just a tiny bit towards your chest. Ready? Excellent. Now let's use the same principles, and now we have a choke from the side. You know, what do you think I would do here? Also, you have to release the thumbs. Where's the thumb? Here, right? Yeah. So I bring hand through the... Thumb, again, and then I attack. Oh. Choke her. Same principle, with the far hand towards the thumb. The other hand can help here. Excellent, now choke her tight. Thumb, yeah, tighter, choke. Oh. <laughs> A choke from the back. Oh, now come from the back, choke. Where would I go either? Towards his fingers or towards backwards? So towards the thumbs. The thumbs. The thumbs, again, the same principle. One, and continue with counter attacks, okay? Give a choke, boom, boom, right? So now, either your turn again, from the back, choke, you're gonna go towards the thumbs, and explosive down, excellent. Now when you go explosive down, you're also gonna go backward at the same time, but you're gonna be backward. Mm -hmm. Ready, three, two, one. Excellent, now choker tight on the thumbs. Excellent. So here we see actually what we handled. A choke from the front, boom. From the side, boom. And from the back, yeah. That the same principles was over and over again. Use the thumbs. Excellent. So sometimes if there is a choke coming and you don't know how to handle it, always look for the thumbs. Thumbs. Thumbs up, guys. Good job. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining our Krav Maga class. If you guys are interested in learning any of the moves Owen taught us, make sure to check out our previous episodes.